Uh, cheers, students. Say, have you ever been browsing around the internet, reading comments, and thinking, man, why is it so hard to be nice? I've been thinking about it all day, thinking about ways I could teach you guys how to be nice on the internet. And then I came to realize that I'm not that nice either. In fact, sometimes I can be a real jerk. Just look at this person. They called me fat in one of my YouTube comments, so I told them to hold me upside down like a beer bottle and chug turds out of my asshole. Why? Why is it so hard to be nice? Do you know? I bet you don't, you fucking moron. Sorry. No, I'm not. And that's part of the problem. Everybody's getting meaner online, and I think it's making people meaner in real life as a result. So for today's lesson, I'm going to rewind the hands of fate, make myself nice again with the help of these experimental pills that I got from my hookup over at Pfizer, Dr. Frank. Well, hello, kids. Here's some free medical advice. If someone ever grabs you from behind, just stomp on their foot, which contains very weak bones that can easily shatter. Oh, okay. Hey, why don't you explain what these pills do? Well, Eric, those pills block the specific chemicals in your brain that are associated with being mean. No matter what you say or do, you will be nice. Uh, any side effects? I have no idea. All right. See ya, Eric. And hey, don't take too many of those things at once. <sighs> what? Ah, uh, he's gone. All right, well, let's put these pills to the test. I'm going to beat the fucking shit out of you and post. Nope, still mean. And as always, it's very easy to threaten physical violence over the internet. I didn't even pay attention to what comment I left that on. What did that person say to deserve that? Oh shit, they were being nice. How'd they do that? So maybe some of you are sitting there right now like, yeah, people are mean online, so what? Well, first of all, shut up, you sound like a bitch. And also, if the internet truly is making people meaner, who better to study that than a teacher of etiquette? Now for a personal example, let me show you something that I physically cannot say anything nice about. Mukbang videos. I don't understand these videos at all. It's just people eating enormous meals loudly into a microphone. I mean, whatever. It's obviously a popular thing. Just don't expect me to say anything nice about it. Real mukbang. Raw beef and raw beef. Rice and beer. I mean, it's like, maybe the food looks all right, but the sounds are so gross, I can't get past it. <sighs> God, does it get warm in here? Oh my God, was that an onion? I'll tell you what though, despite the look of this, uh, I'm actually getting kind of hungry. And dizzy, I'm dizzy. As a little exercise, I'm gonna legitimately try my hardest to say something nice about what I just watched. I'm definitely gonna fuck it up, you'll see. Hey, I think I finally understand mukbang videos after watching this. I sat through the whole thing while I ate a cheesy gordita crunch from Taco Bell, and even though I was all alone in my apartment, it still felt like I had someone hanging out with me. You know what, I think I'll call up my buddy who I used to get lunch with all the time and see how he's doing. Thank you for reminding me how important human interaction is to our well-being. Also, next time I'm at the zoo, I'm gonna show this video to the tiger enclosure and see if any of them leap the fence and turn me into a human mukbang. LOL, JK. But seriously though, you might want a mukbang some probiotics after this because I got a nephew who ate like that and now he can't bend his ankles. Sub and post. Wait a second, was that nice? I, I think that might have been a nice comment. And it was easy. Holy moly, these pills actually work. All right, here we go. Mm. All right, think of something you hate so much that would be so hard to say something nice about that it would never happen in a million. All right, take cruise. Over the last 10 years, I've said some of the meanest, rudest, most disgusting and offensive things humanly imaginable to this man. And he's an easy target, yeah, sure, and it is politics, not everybody likes that, but making fun of this guy gives me such joy. It's, it's guilt-free, there's no second guessing. It's like a little pocket dimension for me to stuff my rage that I, I never have to worry about filling up, but still. Oh God, there's a whole video of my mean tweets to Ted Cruz. It's 10 minutes long. The jizz it took to create you was a curse upon the gods, who all poisoned themselves when they realized what they had allowed. And fuck you. Hmm, yeah, I, I think I should say something. I'm sorry, at Ted Cruz, for all of the mean things I've said about you over the years. And tweet. Wow, that was so easy. These pills are amazing. What the fuck? Eric, you're a day late. April Fools was yesterday, Eric. Huh? What day is today? Oh, oh my God, it's April 2nd. 
Shit, everybody's gonna think this is a prank. Was this supposed to go out yesterday? Hey, put me in the video, I'll suck your toes. Okay, I don't actually care if nobody believes me, because I know. I know I was nice to Ted Cruz. Okay, give me one sec, I'll be right back. Okay, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's lesson brought to you by Raycon. Hey, uh, sorry I missed dinner. Had to go pick something up after work. All right, what did you pick up? Uh, before I show you, I kind of prepared a little speech. You're awesome. I, I love every outlook that you have on, on everything. You're so kind and, and calm and sweet. There's not a day that goes by that I don't look forward to hearing your voice and, and seeing your bright smile. And I know that we've had our ups and downs, but I am happy and proud to uh, have you in my life. Oh my God. Tiffany, will you look how awesome my new Raycons are? What? Please, tell me I'm the luckiest guy in the world because I got these everyday E25 earbuds. They sound so good. Yeah, I'm sure your everyday E25 earbuds are great. I hear they give you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, not to mention the sleek low profile design. But Rupert, I, I got these at buyraycon.com slash big money for 15% off my first order. But still, if you like the earbuds so much, why do you sound disappointed? Aren't you happy that I'm about to immerse myself in all kinds of soundscapes and audiobooks and oh my god, my favorite thing to do with these Raycons is definitely going to be to watch YouTube videos at night so that the sound doesn't like wake up the whole house. Oh my god, I thought you were going to propose to me. Propose what? I thought you were going to ask me to marry you. Um, you're my sister. What the fuck, Tiffany? Uh, oops. Gross. That, gross. That is so gross. You know what? I'm telling Dad. Dad, guess what? I got Raycons. Hey, baby nips, buy Raycons. Keep it in the family at buyraycon.com slash big money for 15% off your first order. Please don't fuck your sister. Come on, team, let's go. I saw some enemies up here. Dad, yeah, keep killing those enemies. Oh, I got one here. Reloading. All right, guys, form on me. Whoa, shit. I'm the only one left. It's just up to me now. Holy shit, we, we won. I, I killed all the enemies. Hey, hey, Fuzzbud, did you see that? We killed all the- I did. Oh, that's great. I got team killed. But why? I wasn't even doing anything. Well, this all brings up an interesting conundrum. What if it's hard to be nice because being nice makes you a target? People want to test your niceness, see what it takes to make you crack so they can go, aha, see, you weren't that nice after all. So why bother? Isn't the internet just some communal toilet where we all shit on each other for self-gratification? I'm, I'm actually, I'm asking you, hey buddy, stop masturbating for a second, I got, I'm, I'm asking you a question. It's a very handsome penis you got there, by the way. And he skipped me. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm level again. Give me something to be nice about. Hey, here's a comment on my vaccine lesson. Used to enjoy when you were non-political and focused on hilarious subjects. Unsub. Seemed like a virtue signal brainwashed fool now. Return to original funny content. See, in my head, I can very clearly visualize what I would say to this person if I wanted to be mean, but... Uh, I just can't bring myself to do it, so look how easy this is. Hey, sorry you don't dig the show anymore. It's always been kind of political in nature, though, so I'm wondering if there was a time when you were just okay with that. No worries either way. Things change, people change. One quick thing, I don't know if you actually understand the definition of virtue signaling, but it does not stand for any time a white person acknowledges racism. For me to be virtue signaling, I'd have to be making a big deal of not being racist because it's important that people know I'm not racist. But for all I know, I probably am racist, so if that's your thing, stay subbed. All right, love you, bye. And reply. Ha! Easy. Okay, 
Here's a nice subreddit, r slash child free, for people virtue signaling that they don't want kids. Keep your semen demons out of the street! Once upon a time, rules were few and simple. Don't talk to strangers, be home when the street lights come on, don't play in the street. Oh, okay, well, I'm just reading ahead a little bit here. It looks like this person almost hit a kid with their car, and they're blaming the parents. Naturally, no parents in sight, like Dan. You don't even have the sense to teach your kids not to do that? All right, pills, let's get it. Mm. I have a feeling that kid's not gonna be running out into the street anytime soon after that encounter. Good thing you were quick on the brakes. Ultimately, a harmless lesson in why not all parental advice should be ignored. Unfortunately, I wasn't so lucky as I ran over an entire Boy Scout troop with a hay baler while working on my pig farm. It was the middle of the day and these boys were keeping off the streets because a stranger tried talking to them. I was cleaning bad particles out of my hair for weeks. Just remember, it can happen anywhere. Hope that makes you feel better and here's a picture of my hog. And attach hog picture. And reply. Look Look at that cute little princess. That was so nice! Mmm, it feels so good to spread positive vibes all over the internet. Alright, let's see what's trending on Twitter. Uh, Coke. Like the beverage? Why would that be? Oh. No Coke, no baseball, no Delta. Never ever again. Fuck you? No, oh, that's not nice. Friendly reminder, stop drinking Coke. But why? I agree, but damn, I hate Pepsi. I'm gonna kill myself with Coke just to spite you. I don't know what I expected from Twitter. This is just about the meanest place on the internet. Every day they pick something new to pick apart and be mean about. I guess when you're only given a couple hundred characters to make your point, it's just way too hard to be nice. Dr. Pepper's better than Coke anyway. Well, good on Ann Coulter for trying to keep it positive. Dr. Pepper's my favorite soda too. And it's really cool that I have something in common with Ann Coulter. I agree. And cute hog picture. Oh, whoops. That's the wrong photo. That's, that's a picture of an old man with his butt out. Oh, well. I mean, he does look to be Ann Coulter's age. Maybe she's into that, so I'm gonna count that as doing something nice. I get this endorphin rush that normally I would get for being mean, but now it comes when I'm being nice and it's like, it's like pure. It's like healing light, you know what I mean? Mm, mm, oh, it feels so good. There's not a single thing on the internet that you could get into the need about. I'm like a fucking god. Superhero war movie, funny Spider-Man, Elsa Princess versus the witch, real life Joker pranks. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be nice about that. Uh-huh, so if I'm following the plot of this correctly, the Joker just cast a magical spell on the bowl of candy. And now when Elsa and Spider-Man eat them, they shit out their asses. <laughs> Alright, yeah, no, that made sense. I am sk sk seven. Yup, eight, seven, seven, eight, eight. W L. Mmm, D. I am vegan. Mmm, Q. Yup. Wow, me like. P. C. Doctor. Okay, what the hell? P. P. K. K. Z. K. K. L. G. P. P. Q. Q. Mmm, mmm. Well, since these pills are preventing me from saying anything mean right now, I find myself at an impasse, and I'm beginning to realize that sometimes to be nice, you have to lie. As a single mother of three, I am eternally grateful for this genre of YouTube videos. I work from home and my kids can be pretty rowdy, so anytime I need some peace and quiet, I just play one of these videos and boom, it's like I got the whole place to myself. The best part is unlike the actual Spider-Man or Elsa movies, when one of these videos is over, it'll just autoplay the next one so I can keep my kids in a vegetative state for days on end when I need to. My youngest used to be loud and inquisitive, always tinkering with things around the house and making a mess, but after a year of watching people from the Philippines dressing up as Disney intellectual property and getting each other pregnant with bouncy balls, he's now almost completely nonverbal. I'm thinking a couple more weeks and he won't even remember his own name, which is good because I hate that he's named after his cheating pig of a father. And I always wanted a redo on that. I showed this channel to my PTA group last night and some of them were worried about the cognitive effects this could have on developing minds, but whatever, it's not like kid shows are supposed to be smart. I grew up with the Teletubbies who didn't even speak a human language and I turned out fine if you ignore my various prescription pill dependencies. Just wanted to say thank you and bless you for saving my family because I was one stupid question away from dropping these kids off in front of a church and starting a new life as a 40 year old sugar baby. Love this channel almost as much as I hate my kids. And post! I guess it's not that hard to be nice if you mean it. And if you don't mean it, well, it's just as easy to lie. After all, aren't all of our online personalities just made up versions of ourselves anyway? Saying the things we wish we could say? And most of the things that we wish we could say are like inherently mean. Unless of course you got these pills. <gasps> no! What? How did I eat them all? No. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I can't go mean again. I can't.
I need more. I need more pills. Alexa. What's up? Call Dr. Frank. Are you sure, Eric, you had a lot of pills? Shut the fuck up and call him. Dr. Frank here. Doc. Doc, I need more of the pills, man. I ate them all. They, they work. They work perfectly, but I, I need more. Listen, Eric, those pills were fake. No, no, they work. Don't you hold out on me. They were sugar pills. I sent you a big bag of sugar pills and told you they'd make you nice. I don't have access to experimental medicine. But you told me you work at Pfizer. I said Fiverr. Fiverr.com. It's a cool website. Uh, I gave you a lot of money for those pills. And I spent that money on a bunch of cool stuff. But listen, you ate an outrageous amount of sugar. Yeah, I am feeling a little woozy. Look on the bright side, though. You said the pills worked, right? That means you were nice all on your own. All on my own? Think about that. All right, good luck. Kid, please never contact me again. Huh. I was nice all on my own. Oh my god, I was nice to Ted Cruz all on my own. Hey, uh, Ted Cruz, play my dick like a clarinet, you body stacking piece of shit. The only people who like you are men who need to stay soft while nude modeling because your partial birth abortion of the face kills boners like you kill Capitol Police. And that it's indirect, but still your fault. And tweet! There we go, he's back. All right, one more thing real quick. Hey, Fuzzbutt. Remember me, you cunt? No more Mr. Nice Guy, Fuzzbutt. Oh, I'm just getting warmed up behind you, Fuzzbutt. Should have Dean killed me, Fuzzbutt. Hey, you guys see Fuzzbutt around here? Oh, there you are. Where you going, Fuzzbutt? You know you can't hide from me. What are you trying to do there, Fuzz Bud? You trying to escape? There's no escape from this. Whoa! Uh, fuck? Oh, yeah. Now I'm level. That felt fucking great. <laughs> okay. So what did we learn here today? What? This is just a drawing of a penis. What? What, what did we learn? 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 Big money, Sylvia. Big money, Sylvia. Frog don't know meaning frogs. Frog? Oh, frogs. Yeah. Yeah. Nice looking. It is it's only nice. They're frog, having the yeah. time of their lives. I love these frogs. Look at these guys. Oh, in rainy season came. They all came. Yes. Well, you can get it at neongrizzly.com slash commenticate. Yeah. Bye. What? Don't say bye.